this is Emily with your Monday meditation. In my garden, I have a type of a pinwheel planted in one of the raised beds. It's just a, a cheap plastic thing that spins easily in the wind. We initially put it in the garden to frighten away the deer, but that only worked for about a day. When we prepared the garden for winter, the pinwheel just stayed. And now in the fallow bed, it spins. It's shiny, so frequently the sun will reflect off it and catch my attention inside the house. So I look up from my work, I see the fallow bed, and I think even just briefly about the potential there. Some may look at bare winter gardens and see death or barrenness, but I see the potential for life because I know that in that soil, there's probably some leftover seeds from last year's buckwheat crop that will sprout in the spring. I know that the soil contains nutrients that will nourish the spring peas very soon. I know it and I can almost taste the savory snap of a pea pod picked straight from the garden and eaten raw. Winter, particularly this winter, with our isolation and absence of easy community is a fallow time. And I use that word fallow intentionally because it means not so much that there is a barrenness, but that there is a time for something new to begin. In some ways, I see winter almost as an extension of the time between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. It's a time when it looks like there's not much happening and it can look like deadness, but under the surface, life is at work. So when I catch a glimpse of that pinwheel spinning in the wind, I remind myself that Easter is coming. God is always at work, working life even when we cannot perceive it. Let us pray. Holy God, help us to see the barren places of our lives as fallow fields where you are at work. We give you thanks for the ways that you work in the winters of our lives and guide us to lift up your life-giving love to all we encounter today. Amen.